Good morning, you lovely people. My name is David, and welcome back to Backtrail Adventures. You join me today on what is day three of my one-month hike through Belgium and into Luxembourg. And uh, yesterday, I actually visited a very wonderful place, and I thought I'd share a small story with you. Namely, I went and visited the Abbey of Orval. Not only do they make one of the best beers in the world, if you ask me, but the story of how they came to be called Orval, and the story behind their symbol is one I thought I'd share with you today. So a long, long time ago, a princess of Spain was actually joining in a hunt in a nearby region, and after having gored a boar, she felt herself quite thirsty. So she was brought to the monks of the abbey that was there, and a few of them met them and guided her towards the pool that was right in front of their church. Having drunk her fill, the princess then suddenly lost her golden ring, which tumbled into the pool. So, of course, the knights that were accompanying her quickly jumped in, started searching around, but to no avail. The ring could not be found. Very saddened, the princess climbed on her horse and prepared to leave, when suddenly a glint in the sun, or a, a glint in the water, sorry, called her attention back to the pool. Curious, she leaned in, and at that very moment, a carper breached the surface of the water, carrying in its mouth the golden ring. The miracle had occurred. At that point, the princess quickly exclaimed, saying, This is truly the valley of God. You shall receive many, many funds from me to build here a church and abbey worthy of the Lord. Not only that, she then quickly stated, This is the valley of gold, which in French is la vallée d'or. Needless to say, some time later, La Vallée d'Or was transformed into Orval, and to this day the symbol of Orval is a carper or fish carrying a golden ring in its mouth. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the story, I know it definitely entertained me yesterday while I was drinking un Orval Vert, which is the beer which the monks normally drink, a lighter version of its uh, uh, Orval sister, the one you'll find in most bars, at least quality bars. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the story. I look forward to sharing a bit more about the adventures that are to come and the landscapes I'm walking through right now. But in the meantime, stay happy. I look forward to seeing you all on the trails.